Hello, this is Stephen once again, and I'm going to help you make a Facebook HTML profile box. This page is a brand new page I just started, so it's fresh and new. We can kind of, uh, and it's set on the profile page. First thing you want to do is go to the search box here and type in HTML profile box, and then click on the search and then you're going to come over here to the HTML profile box. Click on that application. It's going to bring you to this page and then you want to go to the application. I've already filled in some code in here but you can easily, we're going to take this out and type in hello and we don't want to announce this but there's a little box here that you can announce this these updates to your uh, page if you like we're going to update this page now if we go back to our profile we're going to see that there's no boxes up here and this is where a lot of people get confused you want to go to your settings application menu and you're going to go over here and see the HTML profile box. And you need to edit these settings. And this is where uh, it can be confusing. And mainly, right here where it says box, you have to click on add. And it then will change to remove. But that's kind of confusing. But you need to check on that. You can check bookmark and additional. And then you say OK. Now, when we go back to our profile, we see we got our boxes here now. So let's click on our boxes, and here we go. Here's our HTML profile box and our little hello right here. Now, to customize this box, you can click on this customize link and it's going to bring you to this box pattern again. Let's go back and I want to show you something here at the bottom of the page. There's a little, and this, this is helpful to understand for the other applications too. There's an application down here, and this is off the screen, by the way. This is applications. I'm seeing it's off my recording screen. But you click on it, and it's going to bring up you, uh, a list. You just click on the HTML profile box and it's going to bring you back to your editor here. Now we're going to uh, edit this and it's real simple. You can just copy and paste. I've, I've got some code already prepared. I want to uncheck the announce. We update the box it takes a little bit of time. We're going to go back to our profile. We're going to click on boxes once again. And here you see the new updated box. And the interesting thing is here you can put in pictures, you can put in hyperlinks, um, an opt in box, all sorts of things that's going to help you with your business. Now, some people have asked how you move this box, and actually, you just grab it if you want to move it somewhere else and uh, put it over there. But you usually need to have some other boxes <laughs> uh, available. Uh, it's defaults right on this part of the screen. Anyway, I hope that is a uh, will help you out a lot to get your Facebook HTML profile box up and running quickly. And uh, be sure to check out my uh, blog at stephenlshaw.com uh, blog. I have an article there that gives us step-by-step instructions also. And I look forward to helping you all out. And just have fun. You can uh, take some, if you like, or need to, you can message me. I'll send you some code. And uh, this code was built off of an AWeber form. And it's just basically cut and paste. You can look at it 
And uh, in fact, I'll show you how I do this real quick. This here is a just notepad, and you paste your code in here. And here's another notepad which has a different type of code in it. So you can save these off to files, and you can actually alternate um, how they uh, operate. In fact, I'm going to do real quickly here. I'm going to take this one code and show you how that if you just cut and paste, which I'm cutting one soft screen here, and we're going to customize real quick. And it's what I like to do is start from the bottom, go up, and we're going to paste this new code. Go here, we're not going to announce it. We're going to update it, and then you're going to be able to see how fast it is to change your advertisements or your message that you want to give. So back to boxes. See, and here we got a whole different uh, setup here with hypertext links in a couple places. And these, if you click on them, well, you'll see that they go off to another page that's going to benefit your business. So that's it, the HTML profile box. You may have to review this more than once, but you should get it up and running. Have fun. Have a great time.